too. See ya. Pick it up too. Honest. Hey, just uh, feels a little better to crumple them up and toss them, you know? Oh, yeah, Peachy King. I always celebrate my wins by scribbling wildly into my notebook. Eh, all right. Yeah, I guess I am a bit nerve wracked. Okay, so here's the condensed version of the conundrum. So I see this notice go out. Architecture competition. I check the grant money. It's a lot. Hosted by the Vincent Design Institute, and I think I know exactly what those prudes are into. I bet I can win this thing. And you know, in Sandrock, we're always hurting for funds, so I went for it. I used everything in my arsenal to churn out some fancy-looking nonsense I knew they would go bananas for. Yeah, right? That money could go a long way here. But that's not what I'm upset about anyway. What's got me stressed out is, well, guess who's the main judge for the competition? Master Verna! I thought she'd be too busy to oversee something like this. So, I was excited. But, well, sure enough, no sooner than I see my name in the paper, I take a peek in my mailbox. And here, have a look for yourself. I thought we'd made peace with me coming home, but now she's clamoring to bring me back and... Uh, she's just so pushy, you know? I feel like me being in this competition, it's like I'm proving her right somehow. With all this hanging over me, I can't concentrate. Couldn't win this thing even if I wanted to. And... Should I even keep catering to her like this? Nice to know you got my back. And you know what? Maybe, just maybe, getting the spotlight like this is even better than getting the prize. Everyone's going to see my design. Could attract interested parties to invest in something I actually want to have built. That settles it then. I'm going all in on my own design. Something we really need in Sandrock. That'll send a message. And who knows? Maybe some of the other judges will even get behind me. I mean, my sand protection tech is nothing to shake a stick at. All right, all right. I've got a vision now. One quick lap around town to get the juices flowing, and I'll get cracking. Thanks. Talking it out with you really helped. Well, sure. I think that'd be mighty helpful. In fact, let's walk around and see if we can come up with an idea that'll blow their socks off.
Thanks a lot.
I know you can handle yourself, but I feel like I'd be shirking my responsibilities somewhat if I ain't giving you a rundown on how to use that there six shooter. Sure, you did pretty good with your old point and shoot tactic, but we got some basic firearms training that folks around here do if they're gonna handle a weapon. How's about me and you head on over to the range and let off a few rounds? Ain't no thing, partner. Just meet me by the shooting range behind the Civil Corps office. Oh, and remember to bring that gun I gave you. where it all started. I reckon I used to sit around here and draw these buildings again and again and again. I'd give them upgrades, of course. I'd always draw a giant fan on the blue moon to blow sandstorms away. Of course, I had a stop once it got dark. That is if my ma hadn't come looking for me already. She'd help me finish my drawing if I hadn't. Then we'd go home. Can't help but be a bit nostalgic for those times. Happy family, not a care in the world. Hey, that reminds me. Me and my ma used to draw little murals on the sides of mountains. There's one not that far from town. I haven't been down that way in a pan bat's age. Come on, let's go find it. I want to show you. Thank you. 
Thank you. This is a photo I'd hoped most we'd be able to find. This, of course, is our wedding day. Everything was perfect then. Never was there a more picture-perfect model of Telesis than on that day. We all shared that oasis. Not one of us was wanting. And as our little camp grew in numbers, so too did our family. That day, we thought we'd chosen a fate to live forever in paradise. Let's just say, it's hard for me to believe in that old light doctrine. Everything happens for a reason. Thank you.
Close. Let's spread out. Aha! There it is. Thanks. Hmm. First thought, I'm lucky to have had a supportive family to stop me from giving up on my drawings. Well. I did a passable job of drawing Mama. That's her, all right. Her and my pa were sweethearts, even when they are in school. Did I ever tell you about them? Ah, <laughs> yeah. They were like straight out of an old romance novel. It was actually Mama that made the first move. But my pa didn't want to mess up what they had. So he said no. And then almost immediately regretted it and went chasing after her. So. They started on equal footing. Kinda nice. Yeah, she was. Best anyone could ever ask for. I guess it wasn't too long after I drew this that she... Yeah, that's... That's why I do a lot of what I do, you know? Hey, you know what? It's because my parents encouraged me that I'm even in this competition in the first place. Why was I ever even deliberating over this? Here, let me show you some of what I've been kicking around. In fact, I think I've got a little something extra now that'll really top it off. part here is kind of like the mural, hugging the interior. The sand will roll right off the roof. A place like this will be nice and sturdy for generations to come. Oh, well, I don't know about perfect, but it's pretty good. You know, for a second there, it felt like she was here again. She always knew what to say when I was getting discouraged. And hey, I think you deserve some credit too. If you hadn't stepped in, I'd still be back littering at the Oasis. They're <laughs> joking. I never litter, and no one should. Anyway, thanks. You're the best. I better get back to my office to finish this off while I'm still in the zone.
reflection in a relic shard Do slow down before you get too far And even though you were a lazy bum You're leaving now, what's done is done See the tumbleweeds down the track You miss them, they'll miss you back Let's get started. Take your position. We got a free lane over there. Get over there and show me your best stance. All right, that ain't bad. You want to keep your stance strong and secure. Remember, when you shoot, you're going to have crazy recoil. Good shooting's about control. Now, watch me shoot. Tell me what you notice. So, what do you think? Yeah, the pew-pew comes from this in here, and... <laughs> hey, come on. You gotta take this seriously, okay? If you're gonna come out with us again, I need to know I can rely on you. A strong stance is really the first important step. If you aren't in control, your aim is gonna be all over the place. If you aren't holding strong, you know, you should have seen my old boss shoot. Guy can shoot the goggles off a giggle and not even draw blood. Heck. I've seen folks just throw down their weapons after a look from the guy. Anyway, next up is grip. Grip is just as important as your stance, all right? With the weak grip, that gun of yours will kick right out of your hands when you shoot. During Unsure's training, gun shot out of his hand and knocked out a couple of teeth. Had to get a replace. Don't remember which ones, though. You want to cover all the gaps on the grip with your hands. Get your main hand holding the gun. Thumb pointing forward. Get it right up there. Don't hold too low now. Next up, wrap your other hand around, making sure you support. Also means you got the freedom to react if necessary. Yeah, that's it. Now when you're holding it properly, you're not gonna get as much recoil. You'll be controlled. Once you got your stance and grip down, well, that's the basics. There's much more to shooting than this, mind, but that'll come with practice. All right, let's have a little competition, eh? Tell you what, how about we make it interesting? If I win, we hit the blue moon, and you're buying. If you win, <laughs> well, I reckon that ain't gonna happen, so you choose. Ain't a bad idea. Round two, melee weapons training. Let's shoot some targets. All right, three out of four ain't bad. Let's see how you do. 15 seconds, let's go. shaping up to be a real sharpshooter. We used to have competitions like this back when I was just a regular Civil Corps officer. <laughs> Whoever won used to have to buy the rounds at the Blue Moon. Then when B3 left, I was really the only one left to become sheriff. I never thought I was ready. Big boots and all. But you do what you gotta, right? Let's use you, all right? Sandrock's remote enough that we ain't usually got so many day-to-day -day problems, you know? What with this Logan thing? Every day I'm trying to be half the man he was. Well, I mean, with this missing eye, leg, and arm, I guess all I have to be is just a quarter of a man? Dang, I can't even get that. Unsure came shortly after that. Never met the old man. But 
already fit into the silver core well enough. And we were lacking for members at the time. Main thing B3 taught me about guns, though. Safety. Last lesson, and by far most important. Number one, trigger discipline. Keep that finger off the trigger, unless you're aiming to shoot. Don't want you taking a trip to Fane's because you shot your own foot off by being careless. Let alone number two, never, I repeat, never aim your gun at something you ain't fixing to take down. These things ain't toys, partner. That's an order straight from Civil Corps. I ain't messing around. You hear me? All right, that about wraps it up for today. So, you won our bet. That means you're calling the shots now. Uh, do you want to go now? After you, partner. Mm -hmm.
Start. Have the sand bandits been caught yet? Were you scared back then? I mean, I think I would have been. I hope so. You know, if you're scared, you can tell me. I won't tease you. Too much. <laughs> but seriously, if you need to talk about it, I'm here for you. What's taking them so long? Is this Logan guy really as nefarious and cunning as the papers say? <sighs> I hope he gets caught soon. Phew, but it's great that you're alright. You don't know how relieved I am to see your face. bunch of stuff. But take me to the famous Blue Moon Saloon first. I'm dying to try all that sand food. I'm absolutely starving. We can catch up while eating. I have so much to tell you.
This is Yakmo milk. I thought it would be gross, but it's actually deliciously good. Huh. It's kind of crazy. The first time I travel outside of Highwind, and it's to Sand Rock of all places. After you left, I often find myself wondering about you. How your work is going, how you're dealing with the sandstorms, if you're happy, and so on. In my mind, I kind of built you up as this hero, coming to save Sand Rock. Silly, isn't it? Hey, don't laugh! I'm serious! 
I subscribe to the Tumbleweed Standard, and I keep seeing your name pop up. You fix the moisture farm, beat the googlies, or whatever they're called, and even rebuilt a bridge. <laughs> it's amazing. Your ma couldn't believe it. She kept saying, really, our child? Your pa even joked that there must be someone with the same name as you here. But they're really proud of you. They're just not used to us doing grown-up stuff, I guess. You've always been kind of foolhardy, though. Always running into things before thinking. So I guess it kind of makes sense for them to feel that way, right? <laughs> when you talk like that, it makes you sound so mature. You've really changed, you know. I mean, you're still you, but there's this air of reliability now. I guess I can't call you the idol master anymore. Maybe when I finish school, I should also go somewhere else and expand my horizon. But I don't know, I tend to get lonely by myself. I'll probably be homesick by the second week. Us? <laughs> you're already becoming a sand rocker. Now you're all pistols and howdies, right? Look, I'm only staying in Sandrock for three days. Then I have to go back and take an exam. I have a little request, though. Can you show me around town? I'd really appreciate the company. Oh, by the way, now that I'm finally here, anything you want to ask me? My studies are going really well, actually. I'm working like crazy to keep my grades up, though. Hey, are you growing any crops? I almost forgot that you're doing desert planting, right? It's so interesting. It uses completely unorthodox techniques. That's kind of what I'm studying at the moment. Unconventional farming methods. Professor Law, my master, is a lead researcher on these methods. Like, how can you increase yield and growth under the same conditions? Or even bringing crops back to life? But uh, his methods are still under development, so I'm bound to secrecy. Which reminds me, where is the moisture farm in Sandrock? I've heard a great many things about it, so I'm curious. If you're free tomorrow, could you go with me to take a look? Please, pretty please, with an apple cherry on top. They're doing really well. You don't have to worry. When I'm around, they talk about you and Sandrock all the time. They kept wondering if you're making any new friends or getting enough sleep or eating enough. I think they really miss you. Speaking of, your ma wrote a letter. You haven't gotten it yet? Wow, I really got here that fast. Oh, uh, so I have one more question to ask. <laughs> I finally get to gossip with you. Are you in love? Anyone you met in Sandrock that you like? Or maybe someone likes you? Really? You're serious? <laughs> wow, you have really changed. I've never seen you this confident, I guess. I'm gonna graduate soon, so who knows? Maybe I'll be able to find love too. Oh, we got so caught up in talking, I completely forgot to give you your presents. Besides what your parents brought you, I brought you a couple as well. All right, I think we've talked enough already. Let's eat up. I think I'm gonna hit the hay a little early tonight. All right, you go do your builder stuff. I'm gonna get some rest. Sandrock's bigger than I expected. Luckily, I brought my sneakers, huh?
<laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. 
Rise and shine. Dang, you rise late. I've been waiting forever. Almost 10 minutes now. But that's neither here nor there. Come on, I brought Lil' Bell. We're going riding. Swell. Saddle up and let's get a move on. I'm fixing to take you to my favorite spot. Little Bell, let's giddy up. Yeah. <laughs> I live for this. Woohoo! We're flying now. Oh, Little Bell, it's that away. right out here for my morning cattle herding. Take a deep breath, soak it all in. We're above all the dust and gunk so the air is extra fresh. Plus, the view ain't nothing to sneeze at neither. Ah, yeah, that's the good stuff. What's your take, partner? Feeling inspired? Humbled by the vastness of the great outdoors? kind of puts things into perspective, don't it? We're all like specks of dust blowing in the wind and whatnot. Well, ain't getting any younger. Woo! Bill's an 
good move today. Yeah. Yeah. Get up. Come on, faster. Yeah. That's my favorite running spot. I like to bring Belle out here and just gun it down that hill. Hands tied on the reins, wind in my hair. Here's pretty much the only spot I feel like I'm anywhere but inside city lines. And it's the furthest my folks will let me go. They think I'm still a kid. But when the sun sets out here at my spot, I'm whoever I want to be. Whether I'm hoofing it or riding like the wind, out here, nobody can tell me what to do. But my pa doesn't even want me out this far. He's always saying I gotta be more ladylike, which is just code for boring. I'm a legal adult, I know how to take care of myself, but they still treat me like some baby yak mail. One of these days though, push is gonna come to shove, and I reckon I'm gonna have to... Say, wanna hear a secret? I've got a treasure box hidden nearby. I'm quietly saving up, storing away a few goals here and there. Then, before you know it, whoosh, I'll be buying the first ticket out of this one yak town. Like I said, free as a bird. Oh, shucks. I'd miss you and me Ann, and all the critters around here, but I'd come back and visit. And hey, you gotta come visit me too. Ain't fair to put the burden all on me now, is it? Say, I tell you what, cowpoke. I hereby issue a challenge. See if you can find my treasure chest. I'd consider it a favor whether you found it or not. If you did, that means I didn't hide it good enough. You're all right for a city slicker. And a staunch companion. Real true blue. I feel like I can tell you anything. Anyway, I gotta get home. You wanna ride back to town? All right. At your workshop already. Let's hang again soon, huh? See ya! Hmm, not bad, not bad. These sketches, the minutiae of detail. <laughs>